Coming up next on The Jeff Curley Show, RVing has become super cool. You're going to meet a mother who has become a national thought leader on RVing. She calls herself RV Mama of Four. Her incredible journey just ahead. This is The Jeff Curley Show. So RVing has been growing in popularity for about a decade now, but I think it really took off during the pandemic when so many Americans said, well, if we're going to isolate and it's healthy to be outdoors, why not just sell everything and go RVing? <laughs> Somebody who knows something about that, Christine Schwartz, she's the RV mama of four. Thanks Hi. for coming on the show. Thank you so much. I'm so glad to be here. Okay. And so you... Most years you travel about four months a year in the RV, but you've made a bold decision. Tell everybody what you've done. So actually on Sunday, as in a few days ago, we decided to go full-time RV living. We bought a brand new truck, a brand new RV, and we're having the estate sale selling almost everything we own today, in fact, back in Denver. And it's a bold decision, but it is a life-changing decision that I'm so excited about Yes, because it gives us the opportunity to not focus on stuff and to focus on memories. The kids, memories, family, all the things that I hold near and dear to my heart. I love that. Let's talk about some of the adventures you've gone on with your kids. So I have taken the kids from coast to coast. It, we have, Actually, our favorite place we've ever been is Glacier National Park. The kids and I call it heaven on earth. And I actually drove them up through the Grand Tetons, which was very similar to Colorado, and we made it to Glacier. We weren't there but 10 minutes. And y'all, if you have never been there, the pictures do not do it justice. So the kids were sticking their head out the sunroof. We were only going 10 miles an hour. We were just in the park about 10 minutes and all of a sudden I hear sirens. And the police officer comes up and he goes, ma'am, do you realize you have like three kids with their head out the sunroof? I'm like, I can't help it. It's so beautiful here, it was an accident, I'm so sorry. And he goes, you know, you might have to stop for a bear. Okay, he's like, if you have to stop suddenly for a bear, those kids are going right through the roof. He's like, it's okay, I'll just give you a warning. And so that's our famous glacier story is that we were so excited. We barely made it in the park and, you know, already got pulled over from looking at the God's beauty all around us. I love it. And they're going to learn some stuff that they could never learn in a classroom. You just came back from the Fox station in Houston and there was an amazing piece. Let's go ahead and roll that. Hello again, everybody. I made my way out to this beauty of an RV. I tell you what, it became more popular than ever during the pandemic and mostly men behind the wheels but i know a mama who is driving change and getting women behind the wheel christine swartz is here known as the rv mama of four you drive this puppy all over the country right <laughs> i do i've taken the kids from coast to coast and we've been more places than i could ever have imagined that we wouldn't have been able to do without an rv well it's incredible there's an entire bedroom back there for the kiddos and then up here we've got the master bedroom so you can even and separate the family a little bit, get your downtime. But she's going to actually give me a good idea of what it's like to teach parents. You teach men and women, right? Yes, I do. I teach everybody that you can RV from start to finish at any age or stage in life. I'm gonna slip this way. You go that way and I'll meet you in the middle. Okay, right all right. Let me close up real quick and I'll all meet right. you around there, Melissa. So this is what the RV actually looks like closed up. That's why it was tight in there. If you missed the first hour, we showed you the tour of it all open so here we go and we make sure everything's hooked up we're ready to go already right yeah we already checked all of this you want to check your tires you want to make sure you're hooked up correctly and I took care of that for Melissa since she's just learning how to drive today we're only staying in the parking lot but I'm putting on my seatbelt because I'm a little bit nervous this is a lot <laughs> to handle are people nervous like me especially women who say oh my goodness I've Sorry, sure. only driven a car before yes and okay. you're gonna want to just pull your brake off your left hand over there okay uh, let me grab this what are you there you go okay here yes go. it's very true women do, are do tend to be nervous but I just want to teach people that's what I do in the RV mama of four community um, is to teach people how to drive from start to finish with courses coaching and community and so the big thing I need to think about is why turn so when you're first teaching people is it like this safely in a parking lot so you're not just getting out on a highway exactly I usually do two hour coaching lessons with cones that we have set up in a parking lot often church parking lots wherever and then step two after that is gas stations and backing into campsites we'll set up cones stage one is safe here where all you're gonna do is run over a cone if you make a mistake and you even teach people on YouTube how to do all of this don't you tell me about how we can find you there yes yeah, so my you can find me at RV mama of four M A M A O F four dot com that's my YouTube handle I have a all Facebook right. group everything and we have a special giveaway if you go to my website that you can get a special deal 
on <laughs> the RV Mama Upwork community. I'm moving, you guys. I am moving this big bad boy. We're talking 35 feet behind me. Okay, so I'm going to make a left turn. Do I need to already start doing a wide turn no, here? So you're going to aim towards the motorcycle. Okay. You aim towards what you don't want to hit. And then when you know that you can safely make the turn, yep, that's perfect. So I'm doing okay. You're doing awesome. How's now you're going to, you're doing great. Now aim towards this curb. You always aim towards what you don't want to hit or what you don't want to hit. Okay. Yep. Aim towards that. And then I'll tell you when to turn left because you always have to get your wheels spin wide. Okay. So, so I would have turned a lot sooner than that. So I see. So I'm, I'm over correcting. Okay. You're going to aim towards this uh, curb over there. And the, the big thing here is I don't want to jackknife, and it really exactly. looks like I'm about to. I'm not. Oh, I'm okay. Awesome. You keep aiming towards this curb at this okay. angle, like you're going to hit it, and then at the last minute, you'll straighten out. You're doing awesome. And as long as you are not going to hit it with your truck, you will never hit it with your trailer. I want to know who's call who my colleague at Fox 26 is, who has that white truck down there, and if they could possibly be having a panic attack, because I'm going for it, baby. <laughs> I'm all in. <laughs> This is fun. I yeah. feel empowered. And I think it's incredible that women can do this too. Do you have moms traveling all over the country to do this? I do. And I actually have a lot of people that want to go full time since they joined my membership community. They are looking forward to just making memories on the road. My kids have both been texting me since I've been in Houston. Mom, where are we going to go? Come back. We want to go somewhere. Oh, I love it. Well, we're going to be looking you up on social media. I've got it all on my Facebook page. I'm going to do this big curve in a commercial break, Sally. So we won't have drama on air. Hopefully not. <laughs> yes, <laughs> There we go. No, we need to see it. Let's keep it going. Although my car so is very to close to where you are okay, so right now, Melissa. I'm not the white truck, but I'm hey, very close. So I need to watch this as this happens. Like right oh, okay. she's going to okay. do it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, all right. She did a good job out there. Very nice. Wow, that looked like so much fun. <laughs> it was so much fun. I had such a blast teaching her how to drive the RV. Yeah. One of the things they didn't show was she actually did make it around both corners. Wow. And you have to actually aim at what you're trying to avoid. And as soon as people can get over that mindset of you aim yes. for what you want to avoid yes. and then you turn at the last minute very widely, they're so excited. It's such a great feeling when somebody new accomplishes that. And Christine, I love it that you're teaching others kind of the do's and don'ts. So how can people engage you? So my website is the rvmama of com, and people can engage by getting, if you go to the website, I offer coaching courses and community. And we have a special going on right now for our viewers. It's only $29 and 99 cents a month. And I love teaching people how to RV. That's why I'm here because I'm passionate about sharing that you can do this at any age or stage in life. And we use each of those pieces, the coaching courses and community to really get people on the road, whether you're solo, married, have kids, retired, it doesn't matter. If this is a dream of yours, you can do it. That's awesome. If you found a wonderful overview video, let's go ahead and roll that. Hi, my name is Christine and I'm the RV mama of four. My goal is to equip, empower, and educate women and moms that want to venture out into this big, beautiful world of ours in an RV so you can make memories one mile at a time. I want to help you gain the confidence, skills, and knowledge you need to RV solo or with your kids. So much of RVing on your own comes down to mindset. Many women hesitate to follow their dreams because it leaves them vulnerable to failure or risk. But by taking risk, you are one step closer to overcoming your fears. You can dream of making memories RVing, or you can put together a plan and take action. The worst that can happen is something may go wrong, but you'll learn from it and grow stronger in your resolve to try something outside of your comfort zone. Don't let life pass you by worrying about what could go wrong. Do everything you can to live the life you want each day. You too can RV alone or with your kids. Well, you make it look so easy. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of women out there saying, I could never do that. Okay, what do you say to those people? I hear that all the time. That is the number one thing I hear. You guys, it's all about confidence and mindset. These are not, I am not anybody special. I was a lawyer. I went to Columbia. Uh, my mom looks at me now and says, I don't know how you went from there to here. But I grew up camping and I have a very positive mindset. I put my mind to something and I can do it. And it's literally that simple. I am here to help teach you how to do it so that you don't have to go through all of the things going wrong, which is how I learned. Um, but if you have that person there by your side that can show you how to do this and when things go wrong, help you out, 
it just makes it that much easier. So I would just encourage you, if this is something on your heart, something that you want to do, that you reach out to me at rvmamaof4.com. We have a special giveaway that I'm so excited to share with you guys. There's an actual giveaway tab, or you can go to rvmamaof4giveaway.com, where we have several sponsors that are offering great prizes that are up for grabs if they draw, if we draw your name. Um, but this is something available to everybody. It is, it is not just something that the men can do. The women can get out there and do it as well. And you can do it with your spouse as well. I love it. You've been an amazing guest and you inspire, you inspire so many people with your adventures. And uh, I urge everybody to follow her on social media. We're going to end with the website, which is rvmamaof4.com. The great Christine Schwartz. Thanks for coming on the show. Thank you. It was <laughs> such a pleasure. I loved being here and talking with you. That's awesome. Uh, that's it for now. We'll see you next time.